Do you know the five different attacks that can shut down your WordPress website? Well, one morning I woke up and ah! my website was hacked. This is what I saw on my screen. I totally freaked out. I didn't even want to look at that image of that scary ghost on my screen. You see, your website can be hacked at any point. We're hearing a lot about hackers all over the place and you don't want this to happen to you. You see there's all kinds of back doors and secret places that hackers can get into your website, bring your site down and wreak havoc on your life. So this is why I created the Website Security Now course. Uh, my name is Christina Hills and I have been teaching WordPress since 2008 and I specialize in teaching WordPress not to techie folks but to regular entrepreneurs and small business owners so you can be in control of your website yourself. And the reason why I created this program is because website security information is too confusing. It's written for programmers. You know, I looked around for some articles and everything I saw had all this kind of techie code. Even the WordPress blog can sometimes feel a little bit geeky. So let me demystify this and show you five different ways your website can get hacked. So let's talk about what is a computer virus. A computer virus is a program or software loaded onto your computer versus something that is on your website. So when you say you have a computer virus, your computer has a virus and it has caught something. What is malware? Malware is shorthand for malicious software. It refers to software designed to do damage to your website. Malware happens to a website and a virus happens to your computer. It may run other unwanted scripts from your website without you knowing about it, and once infected, the malware lives on your website. So with malware, that happens on your site. Let's continue on with a few more terms. So what is a brute force attack? A brute force attack is a method where the attacker uses trial and error to obtain information about a user meaning it tries over and over and over to guess a username and password to gain access to your site. It breaks into your site and this is one of the things we'll learn a lot about in this program which is how to stop brute force attacks. Now that is different from what is a denial of service attack also called a DOS attack. So a denial of service attack is a malicious attack to make a website or server unavailable to users by suspending the services of that website for normal users. It happens by hitting the website millions of times, making the site non-functional. So a denial of service attack is where someone sends thousands and thousands of requests to a website. So when you open a browser and go to that website, the web hosting account cannot handle the thousands of requests all happening at once and so your site crashes. The next term is called a pharma hack. What is a pharma hack? A pharma hack stands for a pharmaceutical hack and where legitimate sites like yours and mine get hacked by inserting links to pharmaceutical companies such as Viagra, Cialis, etc. This happens without the website owner knowing the links are there because they're hiding these links. This exploit takes advantage of vulnerabilities in the software to trick the search engine such as Google. So you wouldn't necessarily know you had a pharma hack because you can't see these links because they're often white text links on a white background. So if you have white text on a white background, you're not going to see anything and that's called a pharma hack. What is a worm? An internet worm is computer software that replicates itself onto other computer systems and networks across the internet. It makes multiple copies of itself without you ever knowing about it. Typically worms are malicious, although it's possible to have a worm that's not. 
Worms make multiple copies of itself without you ever knowing about it, and then the copies make other copies of itself. You don't want to have a worm. So listen, you don't want this to happen to you. Learn how to lock down your WordPress website so you can feel secure at night.